Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you were asked to bring a last minute appetizer or dessert dish to your holiday gathering, I have a great recipe for you. This one is quick, easy, very few ingredients, and you can get it done in just the last second as you're going out the door to your holiday gathering. I'm gonna show you a recipe for cranberry orange cream cheese crescent bites. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take some of the reduced fat crescent rolls. I have these ones from Pillsbury. You wanna go ahead and open that and do not pull them apart. You actually wanna make it into one sheet. Mine was a little bit difficult because for some reason these were just really torn up. And then you wanna go ahead and cut it into as many squares as you would like. I ended up doing 21 squares. I think looking back now, I could have done probably about 24 squares if I would have cut them a little bit more evenly. So go ahead and set that aside. And now we're gonna work on the filling. So for the filling, you're gonna need four ounces of fat-free cream cheese. You're gonna need some sort of sweetener. I'm using stevia. And then optional is gonna be any kind of extract you wanna use. I'm using orange extract because I will be using a cranberry jam for this. So you wanna go ahead and put your cream cheese in a bowl. And if it's kind of a little bit hard to stir up, go ahead and put it in the microwave for about 15 seconds. That's what I did. Then you're gonna add your sweetener to this. And then if you are using any kind of extract, go ahead and add that to there as well. Now some examples of some sugar-free um, jam you can use for this. I have some strawberry preserves here, or you could use the sugar-free raspberry if you wanna kinda of keep it more Christmassy, but I am gonna use my cranberry chia seed jam, which I did share with you guys. So I will link that down below. I had some left, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. And then you're simply just gonna take some of the cream cheese mixture and add some jam on top of that. I probably used about a half of a tablespoon, but it ended up being a little bit too much. So you just kind of have to just work with the measurements, but probably a little bit less than a half of a tablespoon of the cream cheese. And I used a half a teaspoon of the jam in each of the bites. Then you wanna just pull up all four sides, kind of twist it on top. And there you go, there is your little crescent bite. So you wanna continue doing that until you use up all of your cream cheese and whatever jam you're using. And then once you're all done, you're gonna go ahead and bake these at 375 degrees for about 10 minutes, just depending on your oven. My oven did take 10 minutes, but yours may take longer. And this is what they look like when they're all out of the oven. Now this next part is completely optional. I'm just gonna make a little bit of a glaze to put on top. I'm gonna to be using a quarter cup of this powdered sugar substitute from Swerve. And then I'm gonna use about a half of a teaspoon to a teaspoon of fat-free half and half, whatever I need to make it to a glaze-like consistency. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and drizzle that on top of each of these bites. And there you go guys there is the finished product these are just so quick and easy and they are so good and i think everybody would love them at your holiday gathering i will have the points down below in the description box along with the recipe so please let me know if you try this recipe and tag me on social media if you do and i will see you in the next video bye guys